Yo, today we got a very special episode for you. We're here at the Mighty Minnesota River. We'll be fishing in a way that you've never even seen before. Featuring electricity, real science, man. We're making delicious German potato salad and sausages. Join us more you for another action episode of Shore Lunch with Nate P. This is Shore Lunch with Nate P. Electricity. We got a super special guest, Dr. Solomon David, assistant professor of aquatic ecology at the College of Fisheries, Wildlife, and Conservation Management at the University of Minnesota. Solomon, doctor. Hello. Hello. Welcome Nate to Shore Lunch with Nate P. Thank you. Now, tell us what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing some electrofishing yes. to sample for some fish. Uh, we work with a particular non-game native fish, the cool. native rough fish as they're called here in Minnesota. Yes. So hopefully we're going to find some fish for you all and uh, we're going to measure them, get some data on them. You're going to help us out. Can I kiss these fish? Is it okay? You will be able to kiss the fish okay, carefully. Perfect. Of course, carefully. This type of electrofishing is called boom shocking, okay. not because of the sound, because we use two big booms that go into the water, they help create that electrical field. Okay. So if the fish are close in that range, they're gonna get drawn to it. And then hopefully you, me, and maybe some of our other uh, team members will be able to net those up and cool. uh, we'll take a look at them. How many fish do you think I'm gonna be able to kiss today? That depends on how good you are at netting the fish, Nate. Okay. So we'll have to see. What do you think about the river conditions right now? You know, I'd say they look uh, good to, very good to suspect. So, you know, <laughs> we'll see. All right, yeah, glad awesome. to have you Let's aboard. get after Let's it, go. Huh? So this is the University of Minnesota Volunteer Researcher Agreement. Researcher. You, uh, you both are volunteer researchers. You are helping us out. All right. He's got it. I think this is the first time on shore lunch that I've gotten to a boat and not fallen into the water. <laughs> We've got a bunch of talented researchers here. So this is Jonathan. He's a senior undergrad. And we've got Alyssa, who is an incoming PhD student. And then we've got Captain Extraordinaire and Freshwater Muscle Expert Mark, Driver and Navigator. Releasing the whiskers. There you go. Nice. Okay. All right. It's like you've done this before. Am I doing this scientifically? You know how to operate a bungee cord. That's really okay. like half of science right there. We're going to have some booms that we swing out, these big poles, and so those are going to work as the anode, the boat works as the cathode, and we create an electrical field. So that way, if the fish are within a certain range, they're going to get drawn to it. If they're a little bit closer, they'll get stunned. And then uh, your new expert netter, Nate P, is going to net up those fish. I think I got it. Let's go fucking All electrify right. some Let's beasts. Hey, can you give me a hand getting these booms? Yeah. They look like the squid thing oh, from the do. Matrix. Let's tighten that again. And now right. we're over. You don't want to set it too deep because if you shock them too deep, then you won't see them when they come up. Hot diggity dog. You know, since we're working with electricity, these are insulated gloves. Gotcha. Oh, nice. all right. Let's do it. It's whisper quiet. In order for the uh, shocker to be operative, yeah. you have to be standing on this pad. Okay. Now Mark runs the safety, he's got a dead man switch back there, so like he's got his foot on the pedal, so if anything goes awry, he can cut the power, okay. control everything from there. We're mainly targeting gars and bowfins, which is what our lab is uh, you know, focused on. But uh, in collaboration with Mark's lab, we're looking at gars, bowfins, suckers, also looking at what muscles might be attached to them. And then we'll take a measurement on them. We might take a fin clip if it's a species of interest, and then we'll turn them loose after that. Minnesota is really leading the nation in terms of conservation of native fish in a comprehensive manner, especially the native non-game species or native rough fish, as we call them. So there is a lot of lack of data on species like gars and bowfins and suckers in terms of their basic population status, how old they are, how fast they're growing, how many there are. So we're excited to be a part of that effort in filling in that knowledge gap. So what we're doing out here is hopefully you're gonna find some gars, buffalo, bowfin, and they'll contribute to our overall understanding of these types of species here in Minnesota. All right. All right, ready when you are, Captain. There we go, now we're, we're juice is on. All juice right. is on. Keep an eye out. See some minnows. Okay. 
You'll see. See some little guys. Oh yeah, there's up. some minnows. Cool. So yeah. that's a good indicator that there's somebody that there's around here. There's a beast in yeah. here. Oh wow! Whoa. We got buffalo. Head first. There you go. Nice. Buffalo. All right. To the cool, uh, dude. Well, right, well. All right. Awesome. Big mouth buffalo. You netted that like a pro. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, there's another buffalo. Cool. All right. Another big mouth. You got it. Yep. Yep. Oh, they're big beefy boys. Oh. Yes. All right. You know, what you'll find surprising is the places where we think there's going to be fish and there aren't, or yeah. there aren't going to be fish. It's just like fishing. You, you just never know. Oh, there Whoa. we go. Somebody looks like a buffalo is kind of torpedoing out of nowhere there. Oh, there we go. Jeez, buffalo galore. That's a smallmouth, I think. Oh, what is that like there? A little walleye or sauger there. A little carp, maybe? What do you got there? Oh, is it a carp sucker? Oh, yeah, carp like a sucker. Quillback. Yeah, nice. Cool. This is awesome. These things are up, gone. So it's like you gotta really be at the ready. And I'm uh, actually a pretty good electro fisherman, I guess. I didn't think I would be, but it's really coming natural to, coming natural to me. Come on, you big beasts. Whoa. Oh, what do you see? Another buffalo. All right. All right, so another buffalo there too. Oh. A couple buffalo. Where? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, I missed him. Damn it. I kind of feel like Ahab. Oh, no, that's a, what is this? Shad. Oh, nice. All right, another decent sized shad. Cool. All right, good, good. Carpa. Looks like a carp on the, uh, so this is a carp. Little buffalo. Nice one. Keep going this way, Mark. Oh, oh there's a that. big. Oh, blue sucker! It blue is? Blue sucker! Keep the juice on! Keep an eye out behind us, too. Dude, that'll be fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, there it is. There, there it is. is. Straight ahead. It's going, it's going, it's going. There it oh, yeah, that's a blue. It is? It's a blue. She's peaching herself. Look at it. Way up there. Nate P, this is going to be you. Oh, cool, dude. Wow. I'll try to cover you from dude, the tail side. Dude, this is fucking crazy. We need to get the head in your net. So you're going to come from the left. Keep the juice on. Wow. Keep the juice on. A little bit closer. Closer, 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 closer. There we go. Scoot it back, Nate. Scoot it back. There we go. Wow. Right, bring cool. it up. Bring it up. You bring it up. There you go. Oh. I got your net. Wow, dude. There you go, Nate. This that is, is so cool. <laughs> I've never seen one of these before. Look at how beautiful it is. Holy smokes. All right, these are super sensitive, so we decided in advance we would stop, okay. get the measurement on it, and then turn it loose. Nice job, Captain, getting us on that one. Wow. Whew. Look at its neat lips. I've never seen one of these in real life before. She's got those sickle fins, which are very different from other suckers, so the fast moving water. That is so cool. God, look at that cool fish. So the nose right there, make sure your nose is there, but not too squashed. Nope. Nate, I'm gonna let you do the honors and call out the number of approximately where that's at. 79 centimeters. All right, and then we're gonna do the standard length. Okay. So right about what lines up with what we call the caudal pedunculum. 67 centimeters. All right, great, great. Okay. Giving her some support in there because she needs a bit more. There she goes. That's awesome. <laughs> Those are super rare fish. Well done. Fish bomb. Professor Nate. That was really cool, man. All right. Yeah. It's a beast. It's like a it's like a river shark. You're the river shark. <laughs> right, right, right. Top of the food chain. All right. Back on the shore here, we're gonna do the honorary kiss and release of all these fish. All right, I'm gonna get confirmation. I'm gonna say that's a big mouth buffalo. Jonathan. Yeah. All right. Big mouth buffalo. <laughs> 53 and a half centimeters. That's 43. There you go. Wait, this is 44. Okay, 45, let's say then. Don't make it bigger than it is, Nate. Uh, don't, don't bring an angler aspect into it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a hyphen, right? It's got the high dorsal ray. So hyphen carp sucker. Okay, we got another big mouth here. 52 and a half, 44. All right, we got a bit of a mystery one here. What does that mouth look like? Oh, is that a small mouth? I don't know if that. Or is it a black? It might be a black, is what we're thinking. Yeah, that mouth is weird. It's definitely weird to be a small mouth. Yeah. Could it be a black buffalo? Yeah, it could be. So it's got a subterminal mouth like the uh, small mouth. It's weird, yeah, yeah. Now we got a small mouth. There's a beast. This thing's a tank. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Gotta get it. Just don't want to drop it. There you go. All right. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Gizzard Shad do tend to be pretty smelly, so you want to get as close to them as possible and get them all over you. Yeah, he's got a good stink to him. A sauger or a walleye in there. Yeah, what it's a sauger. Right. Or a saw guy, maybe. Yeah, Could yeah, be a hybrid. That's a pretty fish, isn't it? Nice. All right. 
Last one. Is it just oh, a carp? Oh, my favorite. Uh, yeah, yep. carp. Carp's me in the problem. Carp. Oh, Go easy. figure. Scar. Oh, right. God damn it. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was the most fish we've ever caught on the Shore Lunch All program. Right. I think from here on out, we're going to use electricity <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> Who's Hungus Bungus? I think it's time to make some sausages and some German potato salad. All right, the rest of the team, uh, your job is to collect some more fish. Thank you so much for bringing us out here. This is so cool, uh, something I've always wanted to do, and I've always wanted to touch and kiss a blue sucker. So, yeah, we did it. Dreams right. come true. Dreams come true. On a scale of one to four, how long is uh, probably between five and five and a half. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm right about there too. Dish is going to be a German potato salad, warm, sweet, savory, tangy German potato salad mm -hmm. uh, with some bratwurst. Let's begin with a little water. We're going to use this to boil up our taters, okay? Have you used a knife before? Um, I am familiar with the concept of a knife, yes. Knife's cut. Yeah. Give me about 10 of these taters. Okay. Cut them in half. All right. I would say these are exactly half. Yeah, that's because perfect. Because it's the precision of a scientist. Here's what we got to deal with out here. We got this hell wind. So we're going to mitigate that right away with nice. your favorite. Ronald's wrap. Ronald's wrap. Yeah. And the wind is coming kind of from this direction. So we're going to Ronald's up here. We're boiling. Would you carefully dump those potatoes in? All right. You can do them one by one if you want. Okay. You just don't want to splash yourself. Got it. And now we will lid that up and let those cook. We want to get them uh, al dente, as they say. Nice. You ever use this at home? This stuff's gross. Oof. Oh. It's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. but it's really yeah. it's making my eyes water. Yeah. This seriously is my favorite bacon. It's so good. Potatoes are done. We're gonna use this very scientific method to drain the potatoes. Would you like to smell or hold pound Sure, rig? you know, I think it's important to sample the situation. Smell. All right, all right. Hmm. I think the breeze is affecting the uh natural aggregation of uh, of aromas. Here, put it in your pocket. It's, you get the whole cloud uh, rig for the rest awesome, of this, Awesome, okay? awesome. Some nice fresh brats. We're gonna poach the brats, okay? You don't wanna boil the brats. Okay. You wanna simmer the brats. I feel like the wind is actually getting it's worse. Te it's, ter <laughs> it's terrible. The wind has done this to my glasses. <laughs> yeah. Sausages are looking good. Things right. are rolling. Hey, there's our crew. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they are cool enough now to the touch. All right. And I'm just going to have you cut them up like some little discs. All what, right. what do the Germans call these little discs? Diskenkuchen. Mm. You see like this little pocket of fat right in there? If we were boiling, there would be a good chance that, that would blow open. That's what I'm trying not to do is kept it, keep the casings intact. So first things first, we'll get the sausages out. Now we're just going to cook this bacon. We're going to render it down. We're going to sweat these onions down now. Nice work. We're going to add a little sugar into All this right. mix. We're going to yeah. caramelize the okay. sugar. It's going to turn into a glaze. It's going to help okay. sweeten the dish. Okay. We're going to add some of this vinegar. It's going to make this tart. It's going to make it tangy. It's also going to help bring off some of these bits that were on the bottom of the pan. Okay. It's called the fond, and that's where a lot of flavor is. Pepper me up, my friend. Pep, pep, pepper me up. I like the additional soundtrack that I get to it's experience. It's good, isn't it? I'm going to dump this sauce in. We'll use clown rag to hold the lid on tight okay. and shake the shit out of it, okay? okay. Shake the pot. Shake <laughs> the pot. Shake the tape. Ah, right. ah, ah, ah. Sausages, put them right in there. These are gonna start sizzling up real nice. These are little French breakfast radishes, and they call them breakfast radishes because in France they eat these for breakfast only. That's the only thing they eat for breakfast. Okay. The wind is a character in so many Jesus episodes. Christ. But it's something to actually experience it in person. Just a little squeeze for freshness. Mm. I'm gonna put in these chives here too. You wanna shake those bad boys up again? Shake it, shake, shake it, shake. Okay, we're ready to go. Time to eat. Sounds good. We had breakfast, a small breakfast, but like a big hearty meal like this sure does the trick. Delicious. Mm. Sweet, tangy, funky from the vinegar. Mm. The sausage is fork tender. Mm -hmm. This is how I want potato salad from now on. I like this vinegar and that nice bacon. Oh, it's oh my God. Phenomenal. When you're out fishing, electro fishing, bait cast and whatever you're doing, you get hungry. So we're working hard, got some big fish, exciting day in the field, so wrapping up with this is just, that is perfect. I feel like since we're in America, we can eat the French breakfast radishes for lunch. Oh yeah. Like we're allowed to do that. We can do whatever we want. Right. Fork Cam today is brought to you by our great friends over at Lowry Hill Provisions. 
You know about Lowry Hill Provisions at all, Solomon? I do not. I'd love to learn more. Lowry Hill Pro Provisions is a salami-making meat industry in Minneapolis. Mm. If you're looking for all your salami needs, see our pals over at Lowry Hill Meats. Lowry Hill Meats, I've been buying from them for years. Mm. Well, they got a guy working there. His name's Hammer Hands. Look him up. Lowry Hill Meats, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mmm. Oh. It takes a delicious bite to keep me quiet like that, so. <laughs> it was a very successful day. The biggest blue sucker our team has uh, seen. That was so, so awesome. Um, Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank this you. This very cool. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for being such a gracious host. And wait, I'm the host. I've been Nate P. This has been my good friend, Dr. Solomon David. Peace be with you. I got bad vision in my system. 